I, hey, hey. I am not complaining about that. God, it's not over, Nefeshu. Come on, we shall battle. Enough. Don't embarrass yourself, Nasco. I hope this voice is appropriate. Sir, I, I beg your pardon. What's going on? Nasco is apologizing? Apologize. Isn't he supposed to be the boss? I recognize this music. Okay. It's for Mayor. Why am I? That certainly was a battle worth seeing. I must be honest with you. I never imagined that you would get this far. Mr. Mayor? Why are you here? Oh dear me. Do you fail to understand still? You're such an innocent child. At times, I am the affable Mayor Phoenix. And at others, at night, <laughs> I am the secret boss of the criminal syndicate Cypher. I am Evis, and I shall rule the world! Oh dear, he's now levitating. How dare you meddle in our affairs so thoroughly? The Shadow Pokemon plan, we can resurrect from the start, but you two, you'll never be forgiven. I'll destroy you utterly so you may never again rise against me. Oh dear. <laughs> I knew there's another guy. Ooh, we've got some new music. Uh, Evis. Evis? How would you say his name? It's not happy. Oh my god! Level 61! Okay! Alright. We are so underleveled at the moment. We. Okay, Blueberry. Now more than ever, you need your bloody sleep powders to work. Cybeam Machamp. Sleep powder slacking. X attack on to slacking. Oh, good god. Okay, you've kind of, I would say, wasted your turn using X attacks, but... Good. Very good, Blueprint. I don't know, Machamp doesn't have Vital Spirit, does it? I think it... No, I, I have no idea what it has. We need to switch Pokémon, I think. We. This, oh, this is where Bruce Chan will be useful. Yes, indeed. So, we're switching you... To Bruce Chan to get their attack back down, and we might have to spam that a lot. So, I don't know though if you're. Well, we'll find out, I guess. So, I have no idea. So, the last guy, Nazgul, seems to be special attack focused. This guy's gonna be physical attack focused, which is better for me because we can keep intimidating it with Bruce Chan. So, we'll find out now if it has Vital Spirit or not. It doesn't! Yes, okay. I don't know if it even gets that. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I think it might have like guts or something. I don't know. But I don't care as long as it's asleep. Okay, slacking's asleep and it has the turn, of course, of Truin. So, you know, we might actually want that thing out. We need to properly strategize here. So it's asleep. We're gonna switch out and back in again. What's the most expendable guy? Well, let's not view it like that. We'll use Flow Rider, and then... We need... Conspore... Makes you slower, right? So we use Conspore. What is this? That's not fair! It's a good thing we use Conspore, huh? So I think slacking is, like, super fast. Okay, so if you use some full restores, that's a bit of a pain. I will not lie. I didn't anticipate that. Hopefully he doesn't have that many. This Cotton Spore, somehow Cotton Spore might save the day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as I say, we might want to keep this slacking out. Weirdly enough. Okay, speed's down. And now we'll switch Flow Rider back out. To Bruce Chan. And this slot might be the slot where we just keep on doing that endlessly. And we sleep out on slacking. This, its attack is still very high, of course. This guy might have like four full restores or something. Okay, but their attack is now... I think that's like two lower than it normally is. Because it got buffed and then I debuffed it twice. Okay, I'm feeling a bit more confident about this. But if this guy's level 60 Pokemon, that's just insane. Oh dear. Okay, so good thing is that will hit... Slacking. And... Okay, 
And it doesn't affect Blueberry, of course. Okay, you can keep doing that, my friend. We need to keep spamming Bruce Chen. But if it's going to use Earthquake, we need to send in... No, I'm a... Oh no, I need to switch out anyway. I was going to use Detect, but then that would make no sense. So you can use Bug Eye. Sleep Powder Matchup. Why are these guys Pokemon? I trained, and these guys got level 61s. That's just ridiculous. Okay, Sleep Powder's going to miss soon enough. But as long as we get their attack down constantly, we'll be fine. And again, we want to keep slacking in because it has true. And if we can debuff its attack enough, we're fine. I felt like I've said that like five times now. Alright, so back into Bruce Chan to get their attack down more. Uh, and then we just can't spawn something. We'll just keep debuffing slacking. I think we can switch you out one more time. And it may be worth doing that. Something might wake up soon. But if we, we can use Cotton Spore, because Blueberry, let's face it, Blueberry's not the damage dealer here. Okay. We can afford to switch out one more time. It's asleep still. And Slacking's like woke up. That's not good. What have you gone for here? It's loafing around! Yes, that's exactly where I want it out. So, switch out again to Bug Eye, anticipating an earthquake. And then, you're going back to sleep, because next turn is the turn you attack. I'm not sure how true it works with sleep. And items, for that matter. You're hitting every time with sleep powder now. Good stuff. This is what I want to see from you. God, my, I'm like shaking here. This is ridiculous. And my champs are asleep still. Okay, so we can now... Switch into... Bruce Chan one more time, and then we'll con sports slacking one more time. Matchup might wake up soon. So we might then want to focus on taking stuff down. Okay, I don't think. I think Intimidate lowers it by two, and if it does. What is this? You've ruined everything! No! I perfectly laid plans. Oh, now you're intimidating? That's not part of the deal here. Hell on the moment. At least we've gotten sport that Salamence. Man, the AI is smarter in this game than it is in the main series games. At least the match amp is down, I guess. And its speed fell. Is that thing no flame for a... Right. You'll get focus energy up. Salamence... Needs to actually, do I just want to detect? Go detect. And then. No, I didn't say that. And then. Sleep out of Salamence. We've not really done any damage yet. Ah! I had a feeling that that might happen. <laughs> wow, that was very lucky. That's not so lucky. That's terrible news. Okay. Um, so you have to hit next turn. Bruce Chan, you're going to have to be a sacrifice if that is to be the way it is. On Blueberry. And then Sleep Powder, Salamence. And now he's withdrawn Machamp. All my plans have basically been for nothing, although Slacking still asleep. Yes. Okay, so Slacking's got his stats back. Now, Octagon is the best guy to deal with Salamence here. So I think we're actually going to switch out Blueberry. We're going to triple kick Slacking. Because now this guy is working around our strategy. We need to get that Salamence out here though, I get the feeling. Thankfully it's asleep and we've lowered speed. We need to just hard hit these things, but it's pretty difficult when they're like 10 levels higher than you are. <laughs> okay, 
The slacking, although it does have Truon, it can do a lot of damage. Which is why it has Truon. Now is not the time to only hit twice. What is this? Again, it speeds down. Okay, we can take that. Bruce Chan. Um, we might have to use your turn to lemonade up Octagon. Aurora Beam, I'm hoping, takes down Salamence in one go. Ah, Quick Claw! It worked! Yes! Oh, it didn't KO it. That's not good. Its attack fell, though. What a bizarrely useful side effect. Yes! It's loafing around as well. Okay. So this might be the end of Bruce Chan. Oh, it's a crit. Bruce Chan is down. But remember, we have a revive, so there's still there's still hope. And now we might want to send Blueberry back out. Okay. So... Slacking needs to be asleep. And then Aurora Beam. Okay, we've drew Salamence. This guy likes to withdraw his Pokemon a lot. It's like he's me or something. A Scizor. Okay then. Slacking's asleep. Now, do I revive Bruce Chan and get his Intimidates off again? We might just want to switch something into. Low rider, that's for sure. Optagon. Yeah, I thought that might happen. So, I think. Now, how about we. We can keep spamming sleep. Although we only have seven sleep powders. We do have Dunny Boy for Yawn. Uh, we all go for Flow Rider now. Which can definitely take down the Scissor in one hit. I think I should have leveled up more. <laughs> But if I do it like this, I don't know, there's more glory in that, I'm guessing. And also, I waste less time. Okay, Sizzle's asleep. Good news. Good news for me. Oh, that's not good news. He's loafing again. We seem to be catching it on all the amazing turns that it does that. We'll put it back to sleep, and then Flame Wheel Sizzle. Hopefully that takes it down in one hit. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay. Slacking's back to sleep. I think we haven't even taken down a Pokemon of his yet, but we're about to. Ooh! I need a drink. Okay. Come on, Flow Rider. We need you to take this thing out. And you have done. As I kind of anticipated. Alright. Good job, guys. You're doing well. And Flow Rider's even leveled up. Machamp. Here comes the guy again. So, Sleep Powder, Machamp. We might want a sunny day. So we can do real damage with that Flame Wheel. Uh oh! Okay, the good thing is, the Machamp's attack isn't boosted so high. And Flow Rider's faster than Machamp? That seems irregular. Oh dear. This might be the end for Flow Rider already. Okay, but he hit his slacking for like half damage. Oh crit, okay, well that's definitely Flow Rider down. Can't really avoid that, I'm afraid. Okay. Bug Eye, it's you now. We're still doing okay. We can get off an earthquake as well. The sunlight is now strong for absolutely no reason. Does Bug Eye have Chlorophyll? Bug Eye, no, I mean Blueberry. Again, I should know this. Yes! <laughs> so, actually, inadvertently, well, it was probably already the fastest thing here, but now that's just for certain made sure that that's the case. So, I guess we'll use Earthquake. And we got a Sleep Powder off. We don't have too many of these, and I think I sold all my PP restoring items, which is actually not very useful. Bearing in mind, this guy probably has a Shadow Pokemon. We're doing okay. We've come in leaps and strides since I started this game. We got wiped out by like Cypher Peons. Okay, we nearly got a slacking down. Honestly, I'd rather just get out of the way at this point. I 
think we're doing okay. Sunlight is strong. I'm well aware of this. Um, do I keep Blueberry in? Let's Cotton Spore something. Yeah, let's Cotton Spore Machamp and use Earthquake. Because the Machamp's going to live, I get the feeling. Unless I crit it. Alright. So it might prompt him to withdraw again. I don't know how the AI works around that, but it seems like that's what they're doing. And I think we've got that slacking out of the way. It is both very good and also not great, because we occasionally got the three turns. Now we won't. But slacking was enough of a beast physically that I think we're okay. Oh, he's having some sort of terrible dream. Okay. And if hit the match out. Man, Earthquake keeps killing the cameraman. Stop it. Bug eye. Oh, you. Out comes Salamence. Now, this guy doesn't have much health. We need to take it down. Machamp's awake, and it's gone for a cross shot. Oh, it's a crit. That's not good. Bogus, man. This guy's getting crits where really we could do without them. Okay, well, Octagon can take the Salamence out in one hit. So I guess that's what we're doing. Um, we need to put Machamp to sleep. Because I think you can take a hit from Salamence. And you're still doing very well in the sleep powers. You've just missed once. And I happen to predict somehow that that would happen. So that one actually wasn't so bad. Alright. I think Salamence probably will go first. With an air race. Super oh no, Blueberry. How did I forget about that? Ah oh, man. Okay, now we're not in a great situation all of a sudden. But we've got Dunny Boy, and I have faith in Dunny Boy. Because Dunny Boy can take the hits, and I can get some toxic coughs like that. Okay, but we need to take care of this Machamp, because if he wakes up, then he's killed Dunny Boy. I don't know what he's sending out next, though. So I think he only has three Pokemon, including that Machamp. We'll see. Oh, I missed it. A Sloking, eh? That I was not expecting. And my chance to sleep. Um, so, Sloking is very fist, uh, special based. That's a surprise. Uh, we're going to use your turn to revive something because we have revived now. And I suppose the obvious choice is just Blueberry. But we might also want to do Proust Chan. But since there's a Sloking on the field, maybe not. So we'll use Psybeam on Machamp and get it out of the way. And Quick Claw. I can never trust it, but it seems to work most of the time. Okay, so we've defeated four of his Pokemon. That, that is good. Blueberry gained its speed despite having fainted. Which I will not complain about. And a Tyranitar. This seems to be a Shadow Pokemon, I would guess. There we go. I knew it. So that Tyranitar needs to be asleep. I don't know what this Sloking has up in store. Uh oh, that's not good. Psychic. That thing needs to be asleep right now. Ah! That did so much damage for some reason. Okay. That's so not Raven. Um, Dunny Boy, you need healing. Okay, well, Sloking will get buffeted by the Sandstorm. Okay, this. how about this? Uh, how about Dunny Boy, you get a Toxic off on Sloking. And then Octagon, use your turn to heal Dunny Boy. Ooh. And hopefully Dunny Boy isn't the target of both things. Oh, thank God for that. Dunny Boy, wow. Dunny Boy is faster naturally than a Sloking. I suppose it is a Sloking, but still, the fact that Dunny Boy outspeeds anything is a miracle. Okay, Psychic. Gone for Dunny Boy. I get the feeling Octagon is going to die, no matter what. So, I'm quite happy for it to take a Thunder. As long as... We use Yawn on that Tyranitar. So it's pretty threatening. In fact, if we get a Yawn off... No, he'll still go for Octagon and probably kill it instantly, so we'll just heal Dunny Boy. 
We need to use our revive on something though. Yes, it missed again! Oh, the luck I'm having at the moment is very nice. Okay, Tyrannos asleep. Hopefully this guy's used all his full restores. Alright. Now that sloking is a bit of a pain. Octagon has nothing that's super effective on it though. Alright. So, this is the turn of healing, and it's going to be our last revive as well, so I need to choose wisely. I think we might revive Flygon here. Because that Tyranitar, for some unknown reason, is very special based. So here goes. Flowrider and Bruce Chan I would not do anyway, because there's a rock and a psychic type out. It has to be Bug-Eye. Even if the Sloking might... No, an attack that's super effective, such as Ice Beam. No, not Lemonade. How many Hyper Potions? This is our last one. <laughs> Whoops. Well, now we're just relying on Lemonades. Yes, it's missed every time! This is beautiful. That's what you get for using a low accuracy attack, I suppose. Okay, that did less damage for some reason. I'm not sure why. We need that Sloking out here. Alright. Now the Siren is asleep, so it's not immediately threatening. Okay. This is good news. So actually what I might do this turn is heal everyone else. Um Yeah, sounds like a plan. We only have four lemonades. Oh yeah, we'll heal Dunny Boy, obviously. Uh and We I don't think we need to heal anything else at the moment, so how about you just Bubble Beam Tyranitar, because we want to get his health down still. And Sloking is not long for this world. As long as no crit it. Oh my god, okay. I did more than I thought I was going to. And now... Oh yeah, I healed. Didn't I? I healed Dunny Boy. Duh. Why does it fl fluctuate so much in the amount of damage it does? It seems very strange. But hey-ho. Okay. So, Dunny Boy, you need to hold on. Now, how much will Toxic do at this point? We might be able to take it down with a turn. So, we're going to return Sloking. We have to Aurora Beam this Tyranitar. Bubble Beam will kill it, and Psy Beam does nothing. And also, Aurora Beam might lower its attack for some reason. I have no idea why that's a side effect, but that's so beautiful. Although I suppose it is very special based. For some unknown reason. And it'll probably wake up soon. Okay, Dunny Boy. We've taken down Sloking. It's just Tyranitar. And Tyranitar, I think, is better to catch some Metagrosses. But you know how things work. It's never that simple. And likelihood is this Tyranitar is now going to be a massive pain. Okay, so we don't really need to heal anyone at the moment. Well, I don't want to use Aurora Beam. Um... So, how about we just... Oh, we can attract it! That's beautiful. Um, and then we'll use... Oh no, if I use Rain Dance, Thunder's going to be 100% accurate, isn't it? I don't think about that. So how about... We've only... We've not got many good healing items. <laughs> okay, but we'll try and keep Dunny Boy. This is his last Pokemon anyway. And it's awake. Use Thunder. Oh, I hit this time. It wouldn't have made a difference. Should use Rain Dance. Oh well. Okay, so now there's a sandstorm up endlessly because I didn't use, I didn't want to take the risk. It was it was definitely the right decision. I was just unlucky. Okay, we've used attract. This is good, yes. And then I think we're just going to use return like super slowly to get it down, and then you sleep powder on blueberry. So, you return, and you sleep powder. Okay, you got it off. Very good. And we have quite a few Pokeballs to go around. So, I'm not that worried now. Okay. So, this return is not going to do much damage, but that's what we want. We do not want to risk now messing this up. Okay, good. Didn't do much. Uh. But I think we can afford to use it one more time. 
Uh, the sandstorm's not great, but should the worst come to the worst, we've got Bug Eye and he doesn't get hit by it. So now, let's use an Ultra Ball. I can't believe that I made that call on not using the Master Ball and then got Metagross on the first ball. That's madness, that is. Okay, hopefully Tyranitar's just as cooperative. I'm not counting on it though. No, I didn't think so. It's got a bit too much health. Which is why we need to return it again. Okay. You know, I'm betting that Tyranitar is Fire Blast as well. Okay. But we're doing alright. We just need to keep this up. So how about we get Dunny Boy to get off some yawns right here. Oh, and it's attracted as well. We can't forget that. And then... Let's try a timer ball, because it's been a long time. <laughs> this battle's gone for a while. But I felt I've handled it pretty as much as well as I could have. Unlike the last one, where I kind of probably made some bad calls. Okay, it's bust out the timer ball. So this guy's being a pain at the moment, but it's still asleep. The sandstorm will continuously rage because that's what his ability does. Alright. So we can just keep doing that. I'll alternate between timer and ultra balls, I guess. So we have, what, 19 chances to catch this thing? I kind of hope that we do it. If I return it again and it gets a crit, then it's dead, so I'm not really doing that. Plus, I think this thing will still no Shadow Rush. Alright, this guy is not being nearly as cooperative as the Metagross is, so we just have to keep doing this. He's in love with Dunny Boy, very nice. Shadow Rush, okay. What's he going for? I kind of didn't want you to do that. Oh my god. Alright. Things are interesting now. If it goes for another Shadow Rush, then we've probably lost. But it is attracted and it'll be asleep, so we just have to hope this turn it doesn't do anything dumb. Hopefully it also knows Ice Beam. I really don't... I just don't want to use... my Master Ball. I might regret this. Uh, and then I suppose you can heal Dunny Boy up, because he needs healing. Okay, alright. Hopefully it doesn't come to that and we catch it. It's not asleep. It will be next turn. I'm not too hopeful about this. No, I didn't think so. Oh no. Come on. No! Well, it killed itself. That's a massive bummer. But we won! That's a positive. The last thing standing was Johnny Boy. That's hilarious. No! Even my ultimate Pokemon! No! Oh, I'm bummed out by that bit. Oh well. Halt! Stop where you are. There's no getting away this time. Cypher is finished. The Shadow Pokemon plan ends now. Oh, hey. <sighs> when are you right? Oh, I haven't got here yet, like, just after I'd finished everything. Blast you. Don't forget what you've done, Fashu. It won't end this way next time. I'll ruin you the next time, I promise you that. Hello. No, he's trying to escape with that helicopter, if you can call it that. Wah, let us meet again. Our bid to take over the world using Shadow Pokemon hasn't ended yet. That was definitely the sound of a ho-ho. Your plan? I think it just ended. What? That is some Deus Ex Machina bullcrap right there. Elvis, you and your cronies are under arrest. What is that? Ah, uh, there it is. It's a legendary Pokemon. It's a Ho-Oh, which you can't get in this game in story mode. It is! It really is a Ho-Oh! It's incredible! 
It must have been keeping on an eye on your heroics from the city above. You obviously earned its support. Of course, it would also never allow criminals to get off scot-free, not when they're guilty of an outrage like creating shadow Pokemon. Oh wow, so Hoa was watching over us. Nefashu, I guess it's finally over. We face a lot of challenges, but thanks to you, Nefashu, everything has been resolved. Nefashu, thank you, you were strong. You answered the call, and you were cool. Look at that, Ho-Oh is so close. So true, this is the first time I've seen one up so close. Wench and Nefashu, the Ho-Oh is blessing you for your victory. Such a perfect outcome, yes indeed. Holy snap! That was awesome! Well then, I guess that's the story mode of Pokemon Coliseum. I didn't expect to get through it today, but there you go, it happened. So yeah, and if you want my opinions on this game, I'll explain it like this. So, I've played Pokemon for a long time, right? Mostly the main series games, and I love them to bits. But what I will say is, years of playing the games has sort of got you to a level where I can expect most things coming up, and the games are kind of easy? It's not really too challenging, I'll say that much. But on the other hand, this game is probably the most challenging Pokemon game I've played so far. Maybe excluding Mystery Dungeon, because that's also pretty challenging. But I have nothing but appreciation for the difficulty of this game and just the unique aspects on it. I'd never played this game before this, this playthrough. I'd seen playthroughs of it. And I've heard of how good it is, but yeah, I will testify that this is probably one of the best Pokemon games I've played. I'm going to say that. <laughs> it's just so good. And, although the story mode's over, I don't think I'm finished quite yet, because there's some Shadow Pokemon I missed, including that bloody Tyranitar. I'm still a bit peed at that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get those. And there's a bit of post-game stuff, as well as, if you guys remember, there's this one Colosseum in the under. I'm gonna rematch that. But yeah, you have that to look forward to. And also, just based on the fact of how much I enjoyed this game, I've set it in my mind that, yes, I think that Pokemon XD is gonna come. I don't actually have that game, so I have to get it first. But I have no doubts that once I'm done with the bits after this game. Oh hey, Chirachi, you were definitely not in the game at all. Yes, once all that's done, all the post-game stuff, I don't think it'll take too long, so we'll see. I think I'm missing six Shadow Pokemon, as well as the post- I think it ties in with all the post-game stuff, most of it anyway. But yeah, once I'm done with that, I'm pretty sure that I'll get XD, and we'll have a lot of fun with that. So anyway, this music is really loud for no reason, <laughs> all of a sudden. Oh hey, it's Celebi as well, you definitely weren't in the game either. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the post-game. Toodles. Yes, I would like to say thank you.